Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be replacing a broken shovel handle. Um, I messed up the other day and snapped the handle on my shovel and I don't really care for a short handle shovel so we're going to trade that out and, and get a new one. A couple of things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to have to replace or take out these brad pins right here. You can do that one of two ways. You can cut it off with a grinding tool and grind that down. Um, my favorite way is just to use a drill and use a drill bit. You can drill that out. Your handle comes right out and you can replace the new one and put your pins back in. So uh, we'll get into that. We're about to get started drilling. We're just going to drill that little brad hole out there. Once you've got that drilled out, you can use a, a little punch. Uh, if you don't have a punch, you can use a great big nail or a small bolt or something like that to try to punch that out the other side. Uh, one other thing that you can use, and I'm showing you some different things here. Uh, a pair of fencing pliers works good. It's got a good sharp edge on there. And you can see that's coming out on the other side right here. Uh, once it comes out far enough, you can drive it all the way out or you can get a hold of it with a pair of pliers and pull it out either way. It really doesn't matter if you tear that pin up because you're not going to be using it again anyway. It's uh, You're going to throw it away and replace that. And here I am going to use a nail to finish pushing it out. There we go. Let's pull your nail back out. And like I said, it really doesn't matter about this brad pin. If it's broken or damaged, you're not going to use it anyway. You're just going to replace it um, after that. Your handle might slip off. Uh, this one's not going to, so I'm just going to take a, a sledgehammer, hit it right here. There we go. Just do that a few times and it should come loose. Now, when you get your shovel off the handle, if you found that your shovel handle, the wooden handle has actually broken inside of here, and this will happen a lot of times because of rot if you let it get wet. This one's broken off. There's a piece of wood stuck inside. It's hard to get that out sometimes. There is a way to get that out. You need usually a long screwdriver. Uh, this one works really well it's got a bent end so it fits down in there good put your screwdriver down inside there and then hit the end of it with a hammer several times that'll push the wood that's in here push it all the way out up to here i'm going to do that and then i'll show you the end result if you've got wood up in there and you're trying to get it out and you don't have anything to reach it you can do this well, that one slid right out. What I was going to show you is you can hit it several times like that against something hard. You can use concrete. I've got a steel flatbed truck here I'm hitting it against. But the end result is you're forcing this to come out. Now we've got that cleaned out. We're ready to put our new handle in. I just saw something. I was in the store, bought this handle, got it home. I've taken the old handle out already, and I didn't even notice there was a new drive pin, or brad pin, duct taped or uh, taped to the end of the handle. So I won't have to use a bolt to put in there. Uh, that might be something you want to check on whenever you're purchasing your handle. Look and see if you can get one that already has a drive pin attached to it. All right, after you've got that, again, this is curved, just like your shovel handle. So you want to match up the curves. You don't want to put them in, put them in backwards. This just slides in. And you're going to need something firm. I prefer a blacktop driveway. If you don't have blacktop, you can use a big rock. You can use a concrete block or something like that. But you're just going to hit this against something hard and firm. And drive. Your, your handle will come automatically with a groove around there so that you can drive it up to the, to the correct spot, the correct depth. That's all there is to it. I've got the correct measurement and uh, got the correct depth. Now all I have to do is take my drill, 
and I'm going to drill a new hole through the wood right here for my drive pins. Let me grab the correct drill bit. When you drill this hole, you want your you want your drive pin to be kind of snug. So uh, take your drill bit and measure it along with your drive pin just to see what you need, and then drill the hole. After that, you're ready to put your drive pin in. One thing that I did when I drilled the drive pin out, I drilled my hole just a little bit too big. So I'm going to put a washer on here. And it'll help that keep that from, from going through. And just take a hammer and drive it in. Just When you get your uh, drive pin set, just take your hammer and drive that in. And one thing you're you're gonna want to do put something good and firm. If you can see this right here, put something good and firm under your drive pin, and then you're gonna take a hammer on the opposite side, and you're gonna hit this. And I'll probably put me another washer right there too. Yeah, I just went ahead and. And set a little washer on top of that because this is going to be like a brad. We're just going to take a hammer and hit it. That's going to hold that in place. See, there's one side. I've got a washer on that side. And uh, that's going to help hold that brad in place over here. And then over here, I've got another washer in place. And that's all bratted together. And you're... Your uh, shovel handle is changed out and ready to go. Hey, I appreciate you watching the Small Time Farming channel with me today. And if there's anything you'd like to see me do a video of, I'd appreciate it if you would leave that in the comment section below. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.